Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Via Sports Studio. I'm Cal Ming. In just over one week from now, a group of 360 BC athletes will be in Sherbrooke, Quebec for the Canada Summer Games. These athletes are our very best and will represent our province on the national stage. For some, it could be their first time, the beginning of a journey possibly leading to international success. Our athletes will be joined by 90 coaches and support staff. Today, we'll meet five of these talented athletes and one of the many outstanding coaches and find out what it's like to be on the road to something special. We'll also introduce and interview the recently announced BC flag bearer, a position of honor in leading Team BC into the opening ceremony. But just before we do that, let's hear from our Minister of Community, Sport and Cultural Development, the Honorable Coralie Oakes. Hello, as Minister of Sport for the Province of British Columbia, I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to wish Team BC success at the 2013 Canada Summer Games in Sherbrooke, Quebec. As part of Team BC, you are joining a group of elite athletes with a long and proud history. Ryan Cochran, Dylan Armstrong, Steve Nash, these are just a few of the athletes that you now share a history with. Team British Columbia represents the best of our province, and I do mean our province. Just take a moment to reflect on the fact that your teammates come from every region of our province. Every community, including my hometown of Quesnel, will be cheering you on. Team BC focuses on building excellence, and I know that you have all worked extremely hard to get where you are today. And you can take pride in the fact that you are going to represent the province of British Columbia on the national stage. I want to congratulate each of you for your success in being named to Team BC. British Columbia is so proud of you. To be honest, it is very hard for many of us to imagine the intensity of training that you go through. And I know that you've all committed yourselves fully to your sport and that you train without fail, pushing yourselves to the limit, then exceeding it. British Columbia's are high performance athletes have a record of success. At the London Olympics last summer, BC athletes brought home fully half of our national medals and made up 40% of the Olympic team. And our Paralympic athletes brought home almost 30% of Canada's male medals. These are amazing accomplishments, considering the fact that British Columbia represents only 13% of the national population. I want you all to be aware that you are all role models and that you really are changing lives by doing what you do. And as it is in the spirit of determination, your perseverance and your unfailing dedication, that is so awesome awe-inspiring. You show us how to stick with it. You inspire us. You push boundaries. You teach us to try. Coaches, I want to recognize you too because it is your guidance, vision, and dedication that leads the way. I know that you have also put countless hours, that you've seen excellent in your athletes, and that your determination to bring it out has led you to this point. There is no doubt that Canada's Summer Games will change all of your lives. Some of you will bring home medals, as BC athletes traditionally do, which of course is always wonderful, but that's not the only definition of success at the Canada Summer Games. You may each re reach new personal bests. You may face unexpected challenges and find ways to resolve them. You will make new friends and new connections. And you will most definitely bring pride to your families who have supported you and made sacrifices to help you make it to this national pinnacle of sport. So today, as we proudly, proudly send our athletes off to Quebec, I want to take this opportunity to wish Team British Columbia the very best at the 2013 Canada Summer Games. Congratulations, bonne chance, merci and thank you.
It's really awesome to have the support of the BC government making this all possible. And on behalf of the athletes and coaches, we sincerely thank you for the contributions in making a healthy and happy life while in pursuit of athletic excellence. Okay, before we get to the athletes, we have a very special guest here in our Via Sports studio. The chef de mission role at any games is one of the most important team support positions with tremendous responsibility. The chef offers the leadership for the entire team and is really crucial to success. Rob Needham is your 2013 chef de mission. He also works for the Canadian Paralympic Committee and he's here with me now. How are you, Rob? Great to see you, Colin. Thanks. So first of all, Rob, what are you most excited about for Sherbrooke? I think after two years of planning and even longer preparation for our athletes, we can't wait to get the competition underway and hopefully see that first BC athlete climb the podium. So what do the games look like? How do they lay out? It's really a complex uh, organizational task, but from the Team BC perspective, we'll have half our team come in for week one, so our athletes will uh, move into the village, live in the shared accommodation, eat dining hall with thousands of their, uh, their teammates and competitors, but then when they wrap up, the next wave of BC athletes come in for week two, so be sure to tune in and check the schedule for when your favorite sport is competing. Definitely. So it's a battle of the provinces at Canada Games. Sure. Um, do you have any goals for the team? Absolutely. We're, we're fortunate that we have uh, strong podium contenders in almost all of our sports, but overall we'll be looking to finish in the top three. And as you said, it'll be a real battle with Ontario and Quebec in particular to see who gets which phase on the podium. Now, looking at overall sport development, how are the Canada Games important and, and how do they fit? It's a key piece of our athlete uh, development pathway here in BC. We're fortunate that more than 40% of our athletes and team members will have already competed at the BC Games, which gives them a tremendous foundation for, for their athletic career. But the Canada Games provide that next level of opportunity, again, a, a more, perhaps more intense competition and also more distractions, just learning what the Games environment it will be about and will serve a, a fundamental piece of their preparation for many of our athletes as they progress, hopefully, to the Olympics and Paralympics. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting future for, for the athletes that go to Canada Games first. Uh, for you, how exciting is it to be Chef de Mission? It, it's been an incredible opportunity. I've been fortunate to have a chance to uh, participate in Canadian delegations at other games, but the chance to work with such a strong team of, of volunteers and coaches and really trying to cover every single detail in preparation so our athletes can just focus on eating, sleeping and competing and doing their, their absolute best at the games. We're really looking forward to seeing the, the culmination of all that work pay off and really let the athletes take center stage as they deserve to be, to be the stars of the show. It sounds like BC has it all together. This is Rob Needham. Chef de Mission, thanks for joining me, Rob, and uh, best of luck. Perfect. Thanks very much. Now it's our pleasure to introduce you to five athletes and one coach. And like everyone, they are special in what they've accomplished so far. And we look forward to their strong com or contribution to Team BC. Here are five amazing BC kids getting ready to rock the rest of the country. First, we're going to get started with Ben Chow Beach Volleyball. Ben is already an international beach volleyball standout. This 21-year-old from Surrey has done it all, winning three provincial championships and two national titles. Add to this three junior world championship appearances with a best finish of fifth, and BC will look to stand out on the beach in Sherbrooke. Chow started playing beach volleyball at the age of 15. and describes himself as a joker off the court, but super focused when he's on the sand. Like many BC athletes, he dreams of representing Canada at the Olympic Games. Dominating in Sherbrooke would be a good place to start. That's Ben Chow from Beach Volleyball. Let's move on to Jessie Brockway. Her sport is Parathros. The Victoria BC native was discovered by her university coach while weightlifting. He was impressed with her strength and since then she hasn't looked back. Her strength has led to multiple para records and podiums and plans for more at the Canada Summer Games. Let's head to the Lynx and meet Kevin Kwan from Maple Ridge. At only 18, he's been playing golf for almost a decade. Time and talent led to the Canadian Junior Championship in 2011 where he won. 
With his dedication, he's managed to win consistently on the national stage. Quan makes no secret of his ambitions. He wants to be inducted into the Golf Hall of Fame. First stop, Sherbrooke. Next, we have 17-year-old Tessa Pinkston. She's only been cycling for one year, but what an amazing year it's been. At her first Junior Nationals, Pinkston was in the hunt for the gold and finished an amazing second. Her coaches wonder what she'll do next. This Vancouverite has ideas, setting her sights on Canada Summer Games gold. Let's move along to Special Olympian Courtney Rakis. She's not only a spectacular swimmer, but a multi-talented British Columbian. She's a graduate of Kwantlen University and an avid horseback rider. But swimming is where Courtney really stands out. A multiple medalist on both the provincial and national stage, Courtney Rakis from Delta, BC is one to watch. Now for Olympic rowing champion turned coach Ben Rutledge. Ben's Olympic journey is a story of determination and triumph. The men's aid is the fastest boat on the water. It's also one of the most competitive. Ben was part of a 2004 Athens team that finished a disappointing fifth after capturing the world championships the year before. But in 2008, at the Beijing Olympics, the Canadian men won gold. Four long years led to the top of the Olympic podium. Now a coach of Team BC Rowing, Ben has set his sights on lifting our athletes to the top of the Canada Games podium, and even beyond. Let's meet Ben Rutledge. Just five incredible athletes and one coach, and there are hundreds more to look out for in Sherbrooke. Great performances come from everywhere, and it's an opportunity for our athletes to shine on the national stage. We're going to take a short break, but in just a moment, we'll meet BC's flag bearer, Ashley Osachuk. So stick around. It was an amazing experience. It is excitement. It's a mini Olympics. Competitive. Emotional. Powerful. Passionate. If you have an opportunity to go to the BC Games, go for it. They'll take away memories from those games that they'll have forever.
back here at the Via Sports Studios. And who better to send our BC athletes to Sherbrooke than the wrestler who will lead them into the opening ceremonies. This is Campbell Rivers' Ashley Osichuk. How are you, Ashley? I'm good, thanks. So it's a huge honor to carry the flag for Team BC. What went through your mind when you first got the call? I was so excited and very honored to get the call. What do you think it'll be like when you get into that cer ceremony, the stadiums, and uh, walk in with Team BC? It's going to be so amazing to hear all the screams from all the supporters in the arena and have Team BC following behind me. Now you've been named the uh, flag bearer because of your success. You've had a bronze medal at Pan Ams. You've been a medalist on the national stage. How do you think that experience will help you when you get to Sherbrooke? Um, I'll know what to expect going to the games. I'll know my competition. I'll know the level of competition. And that's going to help me. So you've competed against these girls before that you'll be wrestling against in Sherbrooke? Yes. So when you get there, um, what are you most excited about? Is it meeting the athletes? Is it doing the flag bear thing or is it the competition? It's a mixture of all three. Awesome. So when you've been out there competing before, you've, d you've done a number of games before. Um, how do you think that's helped you now that you're going to the Canada Games, the national stage? I know what to expect. I know how it all works. It's, I know how much fun it is going to be. I know it's just going to be so much more fun going to the Canada Games too. Do you have a strategy yet for carrying the flag? I, you might get a belt, <laughs> but do you have a strategy for that? I don't know, maybe I'll uh, hold like this, maybe I'll wave it around, <laughs> we'll see. Awesome. <laughs> okay, plans to wave the BC flag, nice and proud. Good luck, Ashley. Uh, all the best in Sherbrooke. Thank you so much. That's been Ashley Osachuk. She's going to march into the stadium uh, ahead of Team BC. Now, remember, this could be the start of a few incredible careers. Some of these athletes will end up representing Canada. Who knows, the next time you see them, they could be standing on Olympic and world podiums. And I'm not making that up. It's happened. Okay, we've had many messages coming in from Team BC Canada Games alumni wishing all of the athletes the best of luck and suggesting to everyone to take it all in and enjoy the experience. Oh, and remember, the 2015 Canada Winter Games are coming right here to British Columbia up in Prince George. That means thousands of athletes from across the country will be here in our province, hosted up in the great BC North. Once again, We'd like to thank the province of BC for their outstanding support and to Via Sport for the innovation and the use of technology to promote amateur sport through British Columbia. That's our show today, but remember, follow Team BC on Twitter, at GoTeamBC, or search GoTeamBC on Facebook. As we leave you, we'll show you all the names of the BC athletes and coaches. I'm Cal Ming. For our entire team here at the Via Sport Studios, see you in Sherbrooke.